Good day, folks. Another day, another project. Coming over with uh, Tito and Tangerine. We are working on electric fence. So we got an energizer up there. It's like a 30 mile, like way more than what we need. But all it's been doing is powering a small fence that goes around the hay right there to keep the cows out of it. And now that we got the pigs over here in the forest, we have been having to run the energizer clear out into the sun over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up our electric fence, go along this fence here, it meets up with the pig fence over there, and then I can hook the pig fence into it and not have to rely on a solar energizer. So there was an electric fence here at one point, but it's been, hasn't been connected and the cows have torn it all up. So basically got to redo it all. So that's what we're doing. Tito, my amigo, hey buddy. So we're coming off of the energizer there on the side of the shop and it comes down to this lightning resistor here. And then we're hooking on for our electric fence. This one goes over to the hay. And then this one, we're gonna take, it comes here, and then we drop it down to the height that we want, and we'll run it along our fence. Gotta get the twists out of it. Being rolled up. Hmm? What are you doing? Tangerine, you're going to taste good. On the trees, we're using these nail-in insulators. I'm using two here because we're kind of wrapping around a corner to go down that way. And then on the T-post, we just use the T-post insulators. I think these are like the five inch extensions. So we're just trying to get it away from this fence there so it doesn't ground out. We'll get it down there. We're gonna go to that gate and then we'll do an insulated wire under the gate. So the gate's still usable. And uh, when we get to the gate, we'll put a tensioner on it so we can tighten this up, get it nice and tight. And then we'll work down that way. Got the wire ran all the way down to here. I put in a T post because there's some janky stuff going on here. This all needs fixed. So I just stopped it here. I put a T post in, put one of these little tensioner guys in. Wire just runs in there. And then you can just click it. And it tightens it up. And this is an inline one, so you can do it in line. So that's why I got this with an insulator there. So yeah, there we go. We'll tighten it up a little bit more. And should be good to go. And I'm not an expert. They might have a tool or something for this, but there we go. Nice and taut. So now we're gonna run our insulator. I'm gonna dig a little trench right here to bury it to get us over to the fence over there. We'll bury that. And then the pigs are just, they're just right right over there. So I just gotta go down this fence line here just a little bit and we'll be in business. Got the trench dug. Got our line kind of sitting in it. So we'll get it down in there and get it buried up. And we'll jump on the other side of the fence and keep going. Tito thinks he needs to supervise me and everything I'm doing. 
But she's a pretty good bull. We have our respect for one another. He leaves me alone, I leave him alone. Huh, Tito? We're good amigos. Tangerine, she just don't like nobody. Huh, Tangerine? Had a little lunch, now we're getting back to it. So, here's our insulated cable. This is where we're going. Got out my chainsaw to cut down a tree that was growing like towards the fence there, a cedar tree. And then uh, I kind of got a little carried away with the chainsaw and probably cut down 15 cedar trees right here. So this winter is the war on cedar trees. All the cedar trees are coming out of this forest. We're gonna open it up and get some grass growing. First, we'll bring our insulated cable up and we're going to install one of these shutoffs so that we can turn the fence off over here. So, just hook one end of the cable there, one end up here, push it together and it's on, open it up and it turns it off. Well, I was going to install this, but uh, yeah, it broke pretty cheesy plastic so I'll take it back and exchange it and get another one but yeah I was literally just wiring it up there and went to flip it and it just snapped so we'll just bypass it for now finally made it to town and picked up another one of these on off switches here so oh shit I touched the wire That wire needs to move. Let me fix that here. All right, it's off. Let me fix this. That wire was touching right against the freaking handle. That hurt. Ouch. Okay. So now it's off. So I can touch the wire down here. Nothing. So let's just that way we don't have to go all the way back to the shop to turn it on. It's easier to do that. And then if we need to move the pig set up or whatever, we just turn it off there. We are also working on cleaning up these cedars today. So we are cutting off all the branches and saving the trunks for posts. So I'll show you that here in a second. But hopefully I'll get the rest of this cleaned out today. And yeah, and then we'll just keep working our way through the forest. We're dragging the branches. There's a whole tree up here, cutting the limbs off. And then this, we're just saving the trunks for posts. Because cedar will last a really long time, so we'll just have a stockpile of posts when we need it. And he's looking in that rotten stump. a long time. And all the branches I'm just taking up to the burn pile. Boys are up there playing with the kids with some other kids. So we're gonna hold that up there and come back and do it again.